I'm Dr. Craig Pullman. A key to being an effective studier is to study actively, not passively. My colleague Becky Thompson is going to introduce concept mapping, which is a great way to be an active studier. Take it away, Becky. Thanks, Craig. Do you ever feel really overwhelmed with the amount of information that you have to study? Well, a concept map is a great way to organize the information in a really visual way. So you're taking all the important people, terms, events, places, and you're forming these distinct connections between them so that you have a really cohesive understanding of the content. So I'm going to give you three steps in order to be able to build a concept map. The first step is you need to choose your main idea. So this is probably the unit title or the section title, or if it's a smaller quiz, maybe it's just one single topic. In this case, we'll use parts of a cell. So now you take this main idea and you're going to put it in the center of your concept map in a box. So you know you can always reference back to that main idea and you know what your concept map is covering. The second step is you need to list your key terms. So these are all the important things that you know you're going to be tested on. So for example, with the parts of a cell, you might have the nucleus, DNA, chromosomes, mitochondria, cell membrane, ribosomes, vacuole. Things like that would be really, really important terms that you would see on a test covering the parts of a cell. The third step is you're going to actually start creating your map. So you already have your key idea in the center, in a box, and you're going to make connections from there. So you're going to use your key term list, and you're going to go one by one through each key term, connecting it in some way to the main idea in the center. So for, for example, we'll start with the nucleus. So this is the control center of the cell. So if we connected it to the cell in a concept map, we might say that the cell is controlled by the nucleus. And the nucleus would go in a circle because that's a key idea. Then going further from there, we know that chromosomes are inside of the nucleus. So we might extend a line from nucleus and say that the nucleus contains chromosomes. And even further from there, we know that DNA is what makes up chromosomes. So we might extend a line from chromosomes saying chromosomes are made up of DNA. Then you'll go back to your list of key terms, adding them one by one to the concept map until you get to the end. So once you're finished, you have a whole visual understanding of all of the key terms that you need to know. And what's really cool is you can either handwrite a concept map or you can use digital tools such as a website called Bubble. And you can go to bubble.us and create a concept map online. So the next time you have to study for something with a lot of key terms, key people, key places, key events, a concept map is a great visual tool.